Hello and welcome back artists and designers. Today we are going to dive in and figure out how to do a digital version of a traditional art medium which is Scratchboard. So here's what our uh, goal is. I have a reference image for you so go ahead and get that downloaded. That is in the link there and let's get our document set up real quickly here. So I'm going to go ahead and do a new file and I am going to do a 7 inch by 5 inch canvas, 300 for my resolution RGB, white background, and go ahead and hit create. So let's dive in here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a solid color layer here. So I'm going to go down to the adjustment layer, solid color, and I'm going to go ahead and pick black, although I like to go just a hair off black. So just up a couple notches right here and make it so it's not 100% black. I feel like that works a little bit better. The reason why we're going to do that is because we are going to actually work on a mask layer here. So when we quote unquote scratch, uh, we are going to be drawing with black on the mask so that we are hiding the black to show the white underneath, which is essentially what we do when we work with Scratchboard in the real world. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that, delete that, clear that off. Let's go ahead and put our image in here. So I already have my image downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that in there or do a file in place. We'll make that about as big as we need it to be on our canvas. There we go. That looks pretty good. And we're going to go ahead and drop the opacity on this in a minute, but I just wanted to zoom in here. So I want to get our brush set up first because that, that's the key ingredient is making sure that uh, we have our brush set up properly so that we're getting a good scratching technique to this project. So I'm going to go ahead and select my color fill layer here again and just start to uh, get this adjusted. So I'm going to look at my brushes menu. So you're going to want your brushes and your brush settings. So if you don't have this window open, go ahead and open up that brush window. And I'm going to take a look at the dry media brushes that come with Photoshop. And this Kyle's Ultimate Pencil Hard is a really good default brush. You can almost use it right out of the box. If I zoom in here, I'm going to get a little bit closer here. I'm going to change a couple settings. First off, check the size. I think 8 is a pretty good reasonable size for this. Check this right over here. Somewhere between 2 and 8. I have that marked on there. So 2 and 8 for your size. Uh, but we're going to go up top here and we're going to change our opacity and our flow. So opacity. Sorry, we hit the bell there. Opacity 100% and I need to make sure that flow goes back up to 100. Because we always want this to scratch off essentially 100%. When we are scratching, we just want to have a thicker or thinner mark depending on how hard we press on the tablet. So I'm just testing this out right now, and that looks pretty good. I'm going to make one more setting. It's, it might be a little tough to see the difference, but I'm going to go back into my brush menu here. I'm going to click on my brush settings, and I'm going to uncheck this box right here, which is transfer. That's going to get rid of the opacity jitter on this. And it's not a huge difference, but I have found that that does make it a little bit more realistic when you are doing your scratching on here, uh, just to kind of mimic, again, the realistic style of Scratchboard. So that is basically it. I'm going to zoom out here. So we have our Kyle's Ultimate Pencil Hard. Again, you're going to have to kind of find the right amount or the right size for you. The opacity and flow should be set to 100. And then we just go into the brush settings and uncheck that transfer. And that should be pretty good. The last thing I didn't mention here is save your new brush. So once you have this set up, it feels pretty good. We're going to go ahead and hit the plus symbol down here and say, hey, let's make a new brush and call it scratch board or scratch brush or something uh, that is going to make sense to you. Scratch board, there we go. So capture brush size and include tool settings. I'm going to do both of those. And I now have this new scratch board brush. So if you have your own folder that you want to drop this brush into or something, uh, we'll go ahead and do that. You want to be able to click on that and get back to it uh, whenever you want. So with that said, I think I'll stop this video here and then we'll jump in the next video and talk about how to actually start scratching and uh, working on this, this uh, practice worksheet here. So good luck, get that brush set up and I'll see you in the next video.